what else can I say other than God don't like ugly? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the actor Alec Baldwin shooting and killing one person and also shooting and injuring another person on the set of the movie called Rust out there in New Mexico. Now, there's a whole lot here. I'm not really sure where to start. Let's just start from the top. How did this happen? Was it on purpose? Was it an accident? Was it a fake gun, real gun, fake bullet, real bullet? What's going on? As of right now, what I know is that Alec Baldwin had what he thought was a prop gun and he shot it and the bullet, whether it be real or fake, we'll talk about that in a minute, hit Helena Hutchins and killed her. May she rest in peace. Very unfortunate, very sad. My prayers out to her family. That same bullet went through her and then struck the director, Joe Sousa. He went to the hospital for a while, for a few hours. He was ultimately treated and released. And he's distraught, speaking about Alec Baldwin, he's distraught, he's not knowing what's going on, and he kept saying over and over again, according to witness reports, I've never been handed a hot gun in my whole life. Who handed me the hot gun? Meaning a gun that had real bullets in it. Now, it's not been determined as of right now, which is right around 12 noon, Friday, October 22nd, 2021, whether the bullets were real or not. But it probably was because it went through Miss Hutchins and then hit the director and could it kill him. Now, normally with a prop gun or blank rounds, yes, there is something in the chamber, but if you shoot it, it's not going to kill you usually. Unless you're like right up on it and some shrapnel hits you, you're not going to get killed by that. If the bullet goes through you and it hits someone else, that's probably a real bullet out of a real gun. And the question is, how did this happen? Why did it happen? I, who knows? I have no idea. Could it have been some, you know, some somebody did it on purpose to set them up? Maybe somebody didn't like Miss Hutchins. Maybe the director. I have no idea. But as of right now, all that I do know is that one person died and another person got injured. And Alec Baldwin was a trigger man. Now, there is an active investigation to see what happened, whether he did it on purpose or somebody gave it to him on purpose. There is an investigation going on, but we're not going to know what the results of that are for quite a while. All we have is what we have right now. However, Alec Baldwin finds himself in a really strange situation because, first of all, you didn't kill somebody. I don't think he wanted to kill somebody, but he did. Um, that's the first thing. But the second thing is, this guy has been very, very, very politically active. Big time anti-conservative guy, big time anti-Trump guy. I saw a video on YouTube where they said that he had portrayed Donald Trump 41 times on SNL. If you ever see any clips of SNL and they got Trump, that's usually Alec Baldwin. Especially the more recent stuff. He's played Trump a lot. And it's an insulting portrayal. You know, the thing about comedy is that it can be hilarious if all the jokes are not necessarily mean spirited, but then when it's like you're just trying to attack somebody politically, you do that on air and also off air. You already know what time it is. It's more about just trying to attack that person and or their ideology. It's not the equivalent of Dave Chappelle where everybody gets joked on and it's fine. You have an obsession with one particular person and the jokes aren't funny. They're just insulting. That's a whole different thing, right? I'm not saying that get super triggered and but hurt at him portraying Trump. But what I am saying is that he's very politically active and he does not show much grace to people. Speaking about the January 6th people, those who were there on the scene, whether they went into the Capitol or not, he's saying they need to get thrown up under the penitentiary, you know, give them the ultimate, give them the max, send them away for just being there. I'm not speaking about the ones that were engaged in any kind of riots or hurt anybody. Just for being there, you're a so-called insurrectionist. You need to get thrown away, showing no grace, showing no mercy, showing no forgiveness, none of that. But I'm sure right now, as we're speaking, Alec Baldwin most certainly wants grace and forgiveness and understanding of the situation. Now, me being the person, I'm going to understand what's going on, right? Maybe the gun was given to him under false pretenses, like the person who gave it to him knew that it was a real bullet in the chamber, a real gun that could kill somebody. 
Maybe he didn't know. I have no idea. I say let's wait for an investigation to happen so we can see what's going on rather than just saying he's guilty and needs to get thrown up on the penitentiary. He does not do that for any of us on our side, though. But as I said from the beginning, God don't like ugly. I've seen this happen over and over again. It's unfortunate that he had to hurt innocent people in a situation. That's the, the worst thing that's going on here. But now, what is he going through? What is he going through? And like I say, he's going to want that grace. He's going to want that mercy. But do we get that on our side? Not really. Not really. Even when it comes to racial discrimination, um, it can it can be any kind of discrimination. We get attacked and nobody really comes to our aid, except for those that are kind of on the same page with us. And sometimes when those who are not necessarily on the same page with us, a la a Joe Rogan, who's kind of, kind of leaning centrist, but kind of not. If Joe Rogan comes to our aid, then they want to attack him. If Dave Chappelle says anything that kind of sounds somewhat conservative, they want to attack him. Although he's clearly not a conservative, in my humble opinion, it doesn't even matter. These people, whoever they are, I'm not really sure. You guys may have a, a thought process in your mind as to who they are. They just, they give you grace, they give you forgiveness based upon your cultural identity, based upon your political affiliation, and that's how it goes. Alec Baldwin most certainly engaged in that. He attacked people, demeaned people, outside of comedy. It wasn't even about, go to his Twitter feed, go to his interviews, it's hateful, it's disrespectful, it's all that good stuff, but now, here he is. So, what are you going to do, Alec Baldwin? Will this be a life-changing moment? Are you going to say, you know what? I'm going to throw away all that hate I had in my heart toward anybody on the right. I'm going to throw away all that, and I'm going to just focus on showing grace and mercy and forgiveness, you know, or just being understanding. Because, quite frankly, as I close, when you're talking about January 6th, it ain't nothing to forgive. If you got a meme all on the Capitol waving an American flag, saying, you know, land of the free, home of the brave, X, Y, and Z, what is there to forgive in that? She didn't do anything wrong, right? Only a handful of miscreants did anything wrong, and I would be willing to bet all the tea in China, all the heroin in Afghanistan, that these people were not on the right. They probably were far leftists, Antifa, BLM types, maybe even some federales, because we know the federales were in the building. They had, quote-unquote, informants in the building. They arrested informants before the whole thing went down. They knew it was going to happen. We know they were there. They could have been federales. It could have been leftists. It could have been anybody. Maybe this situation will have Alec Baldwin open his mind up to see what's going on around him. Again, may Helena Hutchins rest in peace. It's very unfortunate that she had to die in this situation. And hopefully the director um, is getting well. Hopefully he gets better soon and he's able to go right back to what he was doing before. And I'm not sure what the movie's going to do, the, the movie called Rust. Are they going to continue on? Um, it it kind of reminds me of what happened to Brandon Lee. Remember uh, Bruce Lee's son when he got shot and killed during the film of the movie called The Crow back in 93? This reminds me of that situation. And I feel like we've advanced so much in technology and we have learned from our experiences this shouldn't have happened as far as having live ammunition on the set where somebody shoots and kills someone. So... I'll keep an eye on this story as it unfolds. Uh, if anything happens as a result of the investigation, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this whole situation? How do you feel about Alec Baldwin shooting and killing someone on set of a movie? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. Um, how do you feel about Hollywood apparently not learning? As I was just talking about, you had Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, get shot and killed in the very same way. Somebody thought it was a prop gun. It wasn't a prop gun. They shot him, killed him. He's gone. Have we not learned from that? I mean, where's the due diligence happening here? Why would you just have a loaded weapon and use that in the movie? You would think that life is precious, which it is, that you didn't want to have any kind of liability on your back as a director or as a studio producer in the film. So you would check and double check and quadruple check to see if you have a real weapon or not. 
Maybe there should be weapons that are made just for movies, ammunition just for movies, rather than just going to Bob's gun store, buying a weapon, not even really clearing it to see what's in there, and then just giving Alec Baldwin that to say, hey, shoot the gun right here. He probably shot at the camera. That's probably what happened, like, near the camera, so it would be kind of like the first, like this dead-on type view. And then the bullet went straight through uh, Helena Hutchins, the director of photography, the cinematographer, and also the director probably right there, you know, coaching them through the scene. That's probably what happened. So somebody going to the penitentiary, is it going to be Alec? You never know. Is it going to be whoever procured that weapon? You never know. But I think somebody's going to the penitentiary, and I think that a guy like Alec would want grace and mercy and forgiveness but you got to be able to give what you want to receive, at least in my humble opinion. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.